Exactly, and I'm glad you said that because there's a lot I don't understand about the story, but I am excited. One reporter described it as reaching for the stars and catching one, which is the perfect description. So essentially, scientists were able to recreate the same energy that powers the sun, which gives us a hopefully abundant and clean and safe energy source. Former Michigan Governor Jennifer Granholm is expected to announce a monumental scientific breakthrough today. The holy grail of energy research is to put the sun in a bottle. And that's apparently what they did in California. The Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in Cali, cracking the code on a decades long research to create a safe and clean energy source using nuclear fusion, a process combining atoms which powers the sun. Here to explain, Dr. David Donovan. The whole point is you want the individual atoms to be going so fast that when they run into each other, they overcome the repulsion and they slam into each other and fuse and then blow back apart and release way more energy than they had to begin with. But we still could be years away from fusing fusion into our everyday lives with some scientists arguing the world should continue to use existing renewable energy sources like wind and solar in the meantime. The scale, of course, of the market and the need of the market is so enormous that uh, that hopefully multiple of us in multiple geographies be able to lifting this out of the R&D into the real commercial use. It certainly will mean a lot more investment and a lot more debate about priorities as other renewables like solar and wind are about to explode. So right now, nuclear plants use a process called fission, which pulls the atoms apart, and that's what creates the waste and the emissions. But with fusion, binding the atoms together, that's what's going to make this a clean energy source. So like you said, Keenan, we don't know a lot about it, but I'm excited to learn more, hopefully, from the announcement today. Live in Detroit, I'm Kiara Hey, 7 Action News. I think we all feel that way. It's one of those things like, okay, I'm trying to wrap my head around this, but this is a huge scientific breakthrough. Kiara, thank you so much for that live update.